We go to Hollywood where nothing ever good comes out of it. You are correct, sir. J.K. Rowling once again is in the news. You're kidding. Not because of a new book, not because of a new movie, but because she's calling balls and strikes against the transients. Boys have a penis, girls have a vagina. Fuck! Specifically, one English football coach who likes to feel pretty and, uh... Well, excuse me, it's ma'am! He's just a little butter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jazz Bergonzo and this... How do you know that you're a man? How do I know that I'm a... I guess because I got a dick. Huh. So what's next? Hey, happy Monday, ladies and gentlemen. Jazz Berganzo, what's next? Your daily dose, common sense, facts, and salt. Hope you guys are feeling good today. Well, normally I would do a weekend edition of my channel, but um, took the weekend off. Just, you know, settled in, hung out with the wife, you know, did, um, did chores around the house, you know, those types of things. You know, so just a little recharging of the batteries, shall we say. But, um... Here we are again. And of course, no surprise that this person is again being dragged in to the limelight just because of facts and common sense. Who am I talking about? We're talking about one J.K. Rowling, author, legendary author, creator of the Harry Potter universe, and a staunch believer that men are men and women are women. <gasps> what? Yes, 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 yes. And of course, they dragged her back in, well, no pun intended, because just of that, I'm calling out balls and strikes. And if you don't like it, you. Well, one particular English football coach has got a problem. He likes to feel pretty, and he lets you know about it. Well, JK wasn't having none of that, and uh, said, uh, yeah, um, let's play, shall we? This comes out of GBN News. J.K. Rowling slaps down bullying backlash after branding trans football coach a middle-aged bloke. J.K. Rowling has spoken out after coming out under fire for criticizing a trans mental football manager, Mr. Clark. I'm sorry, he calls himself Lucy now. Who used to work as a referee in the game, has swapped the whistle for the dugout and was recently appointed the manager of Sutton's United Women's football team in South London. The Alphabet Charity Pride, <clears throat> excuse me, UK, took the X, formerly Twitter, over the weekend to celebrate Clark's achievement. The organization shared a photo of Clark holding a pink whistle and a red card alongside a celebratory caption. The Pride account uh, penned, Lucy Clark, the world's first openly transmental referee, has made history by becoming the first trans manager in the top five divisions of English women's football. Yes, because nothing sounds forced there. Quote, the former referee has taken over at Sutton United. Fabulous. It signed off quickly and caught the attention of one Harry Potter author and savage J.K. Rowling. The 58-year-old is no stranger to hitting headlines with her views on trans the debate. On sorry, on the trans debate. Recently engaging in a war words over a trans mental news radio in India, Willoughby. Her Harry Potter colleague, Daniel Radcliffe, also shared fresh critique of the author's views, dissing himself from her remarks, of course he did, and admitting that they haven't spoken for years, but yet. They got a situation going where there's more involved with HBO and what have you. Yeah, then he tends to lead on. So I'm going to call bullshit on that. Rowling took over X on the weekend to share a prize post and penned alongside, quote, when I was young, all the football managers were straight, white, middle-aged blokes. Quote, so it's fantastic to see how much the things have changed. Quote, Calling a man a man is not bullying or punching down. Cross-dressing straight men are currently one of the most pandering to demographics in existence. In existence, excuse me. And women are under no obligation to applaud the people caricaturing us. The author was soon flooded with a mix of responses from her followers. With some accusing of her trolling and encouraging, quote, social media to pile on towards Clark. Later, Rowling decided to respond to the backlash writing the social media site, quote, calling a man a man is not bullying or punching down. Quote, cross-dressing straight men are currently one of the most pandered to demographics in existence. The women are under no obligation to applaud, and of course, people caricaturing, uh, caricaturing us. Rowling continued to publicly react to the criticism online, including one person who claimed her thoughts on the trans issue was her downfall. There's Rowling, and of course, there's the other woman. <laughs> oh. I'll tell you right now, between this dude and Dick Levine, woof, 
You got yourself a competition right there, folks. She wrote back on X using, <clears throat> you've seen nothing yet. Wait till I hit rock bottom. It's going to be spectacular. Responding to one critic who suggested Rowling should, quote, treat everyone with kindness, the author also replied, when you stop telling me to lie, I'll stop shouting the truth. Oof. Facts. The Pride UK X, org is out, uh, X account has since deleted both the post and the account itself. Gee, I, I, I wonder why. My thoughts. Once again, J.K. Rowling, the savage, is up for the task. Yes. She's like, you want to play games with me, son? Yeah, I'm not having any of it. And I'm going to trash and burn the whole place down. And that's exactly what he did. When you have people saying, well, you know, this is her downfall. She'll never work in Hollywood again. Oh, make sure that you don't work anywhere. She's like, well, I can't wait to hit rock bottom. Because it's going to be spectacular. Oh, yes. And it was, once again, chef's kiss for J.K. Rowling. And uh, if they keep doing shit nonsense like this, you know, obviously dudes who have mental illnesses, dressing them up as women, you know, to virtue signaling, you know, to, to, to make sure that you get your pat on the back, J.K. Rowling will be there to slap you down over and over and over again. And again, I've said this before, but uh, when stuff like this happens, I love it. And with that being said, I'm Jazz Bergonzo. This is What's Next. Want to see more like this? Please leave a comment below. Like it. Share it. Subscribe to it. Hit that notification bell so you guys never miss a thing. Continue spreading word about the show. Appreciate you guys watching. And we'll see you next time. Peace.